This is an introduction to using um, forward and inverse kinematics in After Effects. Forward and inverse kinematics are something that applies to um, chains of hierarchies. And hierarchies are something you would use if you were using limbs on, say, characters. And I'll briefly explain what that means. So I'm just going to create a, a shape here, a shape layer with an oblong. I'm going to move its pivot point. I'm going to hold down Y and move the pivot point to the end here. This is going to be this is going to act as my my forearm. If you imagine, uh, sorry, as my upper arm, which imagine is is if I'm holding it out to the side. If I was holding my arm out, and I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm going to move the second shape layer to here. And I'm also going to create a hand as well. So I'm just going to grab that there. Obviously, very, very basic, just um, a square and, and oblong shapes. Um, but that's, that this is the crux of my, my um, uh, the basis for my, my arm IK setup. Holding and down Y again, I'm just going to move the hand pivot point to there. Now, I'm just going to rename these, and renaming is really, really important. Get used to doing that as soon as you've created stuff, and when you're setting stuff up, make sure that you're renaming stuff straight away so you know exactly what things are. The other thing, the other reason for renaming is because you're going to be creating some expressions and expressions are going to reference objects and layers and if you have duplicate names the expression will then start referencing both say if you've got two forearms and you've got an expression applied to the forearm, uh, two things called forearm and you have it and you have an expression that's applied to something called forearm it won't know what it's applied to and you're going to get some problems so for now I've called this upper upper arm, forearm and hand if I've got two arms obviously I'll call them uh, left arm, right arm etc just to differentiate, differentiate between the two so we've got upper arm there, I've got a forearm and my hand just using the pick whip here I'm just going to create a basic hierarchy that I would nor normally use for, for forward kinematics I'm going to Grab the pick whip, pick whip, drag it over forearm because the hand is is um, uh, a child of the forearm. I'm going to grab the pick whip again, drag and click over the upper arm. So I've created this basic hierarchy where the hand is parented to the forearm, the forearm is parented to the upper arm. And now if I select the upper arm and I rotate and I rotate the forearm, I can get this sort of basic, um, you know, arm bent arm shape uh, which is fine I mean that works okay um, for for fairly basic functions the problem is for instance if I had a character who was doing a press up or something and I wanted to have this hand planted on the floor and I wanted the shoulder to be moving up and down that's going to be a difficult thing to animate because every time I move that shoulder up and down the hand will move up and down with it so what I need is a way of influencing the hand which will cause a bend in the arm but then doesn't cause the shoulder to move um, and that is essentially uh, inverse kinematics so using this same hierarchy with a hand parented to the forearm, the forearm parented to the upper arm I'm going to use the DUIK tool which is incredibly useful for After Effects and uh, is the tool you really want to use when you're creating characters um, once you've got this plugin installed, well, it, it'll come up with the, the defaults the rigging settings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hand. I'm going to click on controllers, which is going to give me this little um, this null, and it's also going to create a controller, uh, a layer called a null called hand down here. I'm going to leave that as it is. Uh, the next thing I want to do is create the IK chain. I'm going to move up the IK chain. This is really important. If you go the other way, it's going to cause problems. I'm going to move up the IK chain from the hand to the forearm to the upper arm. And then finally, I'm going to select the controller that they apply to. And then I'm going to click IK. For now, we don't need the stretch control on because it's going to cause us a few problems. But leave the other stuff as it, as it, uh, as it is. I'm just going to press OK. Now what's going to happen is when I select that null, when I move that around, you'll notice that now the arm has a simple fold in it. And it means that if I wanted to do 
that press up I could indeed do that by moving the shoulder up and down and the hand would stay in the same place. I can also do stuff like rotate the hand around uh, using the controller and the controller is fully keyable as well uh, which is very very handy. Um, so it, this is just a great tool for creating arms and legs. Uh, you can parent the shoulder to a body and when you move the body around the shoulder will move with it and the hand will stay where it is. Other things that are quite handy as well is this goal. If I turn off the goal what that means is the hand reverts to pointing exactly along the the axis of its uh, that it was originally rigged in. So I can move this around and it means that say for instance if I had somebody who was um, you know throwing a punch or something like that so I'm gonna, just going to move this uh, somewhere I can see it so if I had somebody who was throwing a punch if I have the goal checked on it's going to look a little odd because conveniently um, or inconveniently the hand would kind of be orientated along the controller and move horizontally which is not really how somebody would throw a punch it would look a bit odd it's more of a kind of poking motion whereas if I untick the checkbox there uh, with a goal checkbox it means it'll turn it'll take the orientation uh, it'll fix its orientation so that when I move the controller it'll follow the orientation of the forearm. This is a really handy little on off switch and, and all of this is, is keyable. If I want to turn off the forward kinematics I can simply turn off the checkbox there and I will have my original rig there um, with uh, the controller not affecting it. Um, and it means however that I can then just rotate things and key them using the angle functions here. Um, so it's a very very powerful little tool this and uh, something that you can use for the basis of, of, uh, of any characters that you create.